60 million for as a release clause from crystal palace this is a sign and i definitely think we should make i think he is the missing piece to our midfield welcome to the channel with jay from jay ferguson tv hit the subscribe button and hit that like button so rumors are going on transfer speculation as a 60 million release clause does he want arsenal does he want liverpool is it chelsea it doesn't matter for me this is a sign and i definitely think arsenal should make now for me Eze is the missing piece one of our best season was when we had a real fluid left a in granite jacker supporting marinelli last season when we got party back and we was able to have a more attacking athletic left middle field eight in Declan Rice, we became bare at the second half of the season. Arsenal function bare when we have more legs in midfield. It's facts. It's been shown over the last two seasons when we have, you know, robust players with legs playing in that left midfield eight we saw at the beginning of last season when we tried to start the season with Kai Havertz playing as a left eight who doesn't have the legs he was awful and we had a lot of dull boring games now for me Eze makes perfect sense naturally by default right footed likes to play attack in midfield could also play on either side of the pitch perfect because the one thing that Eze has over mine Odegaard is the athleticism he's quick he's strong he runs with the ball and he could also spot a pass I think that's the absolute best blend that you could get in midfield you've got a magician in mine Odegaard pulling all of the strings alongside him You've got a ball carrying creative midfielder who doesn't shy away from defensive duties, shoots from outside of the box and is also a free kick taker, something that Arsenal do not have. Now, last season, we scored many goals from set plays. It became a real tool, corners, free kicks. Imagine now adding another attack to your Arsenal, excuse the pun, with Eze from dead balls striking 25 30 yards out he potentially could get us two three four goals a season just from free kicks amazing tool to have in your team now how do i see it working this would be my setup right here so as you can see i've got Eze playing our left midfield eight but more importantly I want him to be making those runs from central to left over to Marnelli's side so Marnelli could crash the box. We had such a good season from Marnelli when he had Granite Jacker supporting him down that left side because he took defenders away which then allowed him more space to attack and run into. Now I do think Marnelli is a very good finisher when he's in and inside and in and around the box and I want to see him be put in those positions a lot more next season and I feel like having Eze drifting over to that left side which then takes a defender with him allows Marnelli to go one-on-one -on -one and start crashing the box alternatively from the right hand side you see here Saka also crashes the box now the reason why i'm so big on our wingers really crashing the box this season there was many times last season saka gets to the byline trossard gets to the byline have its holes up play and we've only got one or two players inside of the box i want us to be a lot more fluid and have a lot more presence inside of the opposing box when we're on the attack so if we could get marinelli have its for the height saka all crashing that box it equals more goals naturally this allows Marno Lagarde to flow in central midfield areas and really dictate play as you see here our left and our right backs I'm going speculative with Califori I think he may come in and for me I'll start him at left back in this particular formation comfortable again 
overlapping and getting back. The exact same with Timber. Yes, for me, next season, I'll potentially go with Timber over Ben White at right back, especially for certain games. As you can see here, both are left and right backs getting forward, but also getting back in for their defensive duties. This is how potentially I could see Arsenal setting up with Eze in our team. Now, do you agree? Do you think Eze is the missing piece to our midfield? Is there another play that you go after? What do you think of the formation, the layout, the setup, the tactics? Let me know down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that like button on your way out. And I'll see you all again soon. Peace.